Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I've been monetized on YouTube for just over a month now. And in this video, I'm going to share exactly how much money I made within that first month. I usually make content about New York City and my life living here. So if that sounds interesting to you, please do hit that subscribe button and watch some more videos when you're done with this one. I wanted to make this video because I watched a ton of these in like the couple months leading up to my getting monetized when I was really close. I wanted to know what to expect, but honestly, the numbers varied so much from person to person that yeah, I never I never really had a clue. Either way, I just think these are really interesting. It's kind of fun to know how much money people are making. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just really nosy. So the criteria to get monetized on YouTube you have to have two things. The first being you have to have over a thousand subscribers. The second is you have to have reached 4,000 hours of total watch time within the past year. So this doesn't mean in your first year necessarily, it means within a year back from the time that you apply for monetization. So I'm gonna fill you in on something that a lot of people might not really realize. After you hit that initial 1,000 subscribers and meet those guidelines, your subscriber count really does not matter that much as far as how much money you make. What you get paid is not based on that. It is based on the amount of views your videos are getting. So, for example, if a creator hits that 1,000 subscriber threshold because they've had a single video go really viral and that video is getting millions of views, they're probably gonna make a lot of money in that first month. Whereas if it's been a very gradual sort of thing, like for me, you're probably not gonna make as much. So let's get into my stuff. I posted my first YouTube video on September 19th, 2020. So it took me just over a year and eight months to get monetized. I actually hit my first 4,000 hours of watch time in less than six months and maintained it the whole time, but the subs were just taking a lot longer for me. In the beginning, I had two videos do pretty well, and I think that most of those watch hours came from those two videos. On May 9th, 2022, I finally hit a thousand subscribers and I applied for monetization right away and was approved on May 12th. You have to apply and be approved before they start paying you just to make sure that you're not like breaking any of YouTube's rules and stuff. <laughs> So on the screen right now, you're seeing my analytics and I have a custom date range selected. So you're seeing from May 12th to June 12th, exactly my first month. So here you can see my CPM, which is $14.51. CPM stands for cost per mill and it essentially just means the amount of money that advertisers are paying per 1,000 views on a monetized video. If you want to read YouTube's description of this, you can pause the video now. So this middle number, $5.55, is my revenue per mill, which is the money that I am actually getting paid per 1,000 views. This is lower because this is after it factors in YouTube's cut of the ad revenue, and it also factors in things like YouTube premium, channel membership, super thanks, things like that. By the way, I do have super thanks activated on my channel and I've never talked about it. Uh, it's a newer feature. It's kind of like super chats for live streams where you can tip, except now you can do it on regular videos too, so you know, if you feel so inclined, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, if you want to read YouTube spiel on what RPM is, pause the video now. So it's important to note that these numbers are constantly changing. This is just an average over that one month period, and they vary from video to video. So if we take a look at some specific videos, You'll see that the CPM and RPM are a lot higher on my video where I walked the entire length of Broadway than they are on my video where I reacted to the absolutely ridiculously priced New York City apartment listings on Street Easy. 
However, I still made more money from the Street Easy video because it had a lot more views. By the way, uh, definitely subscribe real quick if you are into apartment tours and apartment hunting type content because I have a New York City apartment hunt video coming up next week and it's a juicy. So how does YouTube determine what your CPM and RPM are going to be? To be honest, it's still a little bit of a mystery to me, but here's what I gather. It all depends on what the advertisers that want to advertise on your content are willing to pay to do so. For example, I have heard that finance channels typically get really high CPMs. This is because that the types of companies that want to advertise to that audience usually have larger budgets to do so, and they're willing to pay a premium to advertise to the type of financially savvy people who are seeking out that content. This is maybe a little bit of a reach, but you can even see here on my what I spend in a week video from last year, my CPM is $19, which is high for me. And you know, that video was about money. By the way, that went up way before I was monetized. So the reason I've made like pennies off that video is because it hasn't actually gotten many views since I've been monetized. I've also heard that $19, although high for me, is actually kind of low for finance. I've heard of certain finance channels getting CPMs of like 30 and $40. So if you're looking to start YouTube and you're in it for the money, talk about money. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what the CPM on this video is going to be. I'm talking about money. Talking about money. <laughs> so let's go back to my analytics and look in a little bit more detail. So here you can see this line with spikes and dips and all of that. And you can see these little play buttons here. So these play buttons are the days that I uploaded a video. And as you know, I expected, those days and the day or two right after are when I made the most money. So let's look at my very first day being monetized here, May 12th, before I even uploaded anything. I made 52 cents on that day. Next day, 93 cents, but then the next day I uploaded a video. So this was when I uploaded that street easy apartment hunting video. $2.38 on May 14th. But then I actually made more on the next day, $4.16. It took that video close to 24 hours to gain traction, and then it took off and did better than a lot of my videos do. So then you can just kind of see it staying kind of stagnant there throughout the week, and then there's another peak the next time I uploaded a video, and then it just kind of continues to follow that pattern. I know these aren't incredibly high numbers or anything like that, but it is pretty cool to see that I'm making any money at all on days that I'm not even uploading anything. Okay, so the moment is here. I'm gonna stop putting it off now. How much money did I make my first month monetized? I feel like I need a drum. I need to drum roll. $48.21. I made $48.21 in my first month as a monetized YouTuber, and I really don't have any idea if that was more or less than I expected. I'm not mad about it, you know? I made money. I was doing this for free for over a year and a half, so it's pretty cool to see it paying off at all regardless of what the number is. I also feel like I should mention that even though this is my first month monetized on YouTube, I have been posting some of my content on a news-based website called Newsbreak since September of 2021, and they do pay me. The money I make from there varies a little bit month to month depending on how many Newsbreak appropriate videos I have made in a month. I typically don't put blogs or anything personal over there. It's really just my informational New York City based content that goes over there. So the money does vary depending on if I've made two videos or four videos in a month that go up over there. So even though I put up less content there than I do on YouTube, 
I usually make between $50 and $150 a month on Newsbreak, as their RPMs do tend to be a lot higher. Also, while we're talking about it, I don't plug it too much, but I do have a link in the description to download the Newsbreak app. And if you do that, I get $5 commission for every single person who does it. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to do anything. Just download it through the link and I'll get commission. So if you could do that for me, that'd be awesome. Thank you. If you have a monetized YouTube channel and you're comfortable doing so, please comment down below and let us know what you made in your first month monetized. If you don't have a monetized YouTube channel, comment down below and let me know if I made more or less than you would have expected. Like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Saturday and I will see you in the next one.